German unemployment up by 9,000 in August, the fifth straight monthly increase, but the overall jobless rate unchanged at 6.8%, well below the overall Eurozone rate of 11.3%. let us get to Stefan Schneider, chief international economist at Deutsche Bank uh, out of Frankfurt. Uh, Stefan, is, are the best of times, uh, the best times of the German labour market over, do you think? Yes, to a certain extent that uh, is probably true. Uh, we have seen now several months of small increases in unemployment, but still employment is still growing. And so I think the German labor market is still showing a clearly distinct picture from the rest of Europe. And how bad does Deutsche think this is going to get now? Where are these numbers going to be at the end of the year? Uh, I think we'll continue to have small increases uh, and we see the unemployment rate uh, drifting towards 7, maybe moving slightly above 7% next year. But that's really, really very modest in terms of increases in deterioration. And does it worry you that Kurzarbeit uh, and part-time numbers uh, are masking uh, an even worse situation than we're seeing? No, I don't think so. I mean, we, we just see, uh, you know, it's not just the, the unemployment rate or unemployment itself. It's showing a cyclical pattern. You can see that in vacancies and other, in, in, in time labor and other aspects as well. So it's, it's, it's natural to a certain extent, uh, but we don't see anything similar to what we saw in 2009, uh, basically when uh, Kurzarbeit was skyrocketing. I mean, we still see the, ex the economy continuing to grow. Therefore, we ha should have a moderation in the labor market, but no surge in unemployment. And we still believe that the number of unemployed people will even probably by the end of next year be slightly below 3 million. So it's not really a problem and it's still a healthy development. Well, what about youth unemployment? I believe it's about 7% now uh, in Germany, far less than some of the other uh, con countries uh, in Europe. What is your take on youth unemployment and why it remains much more resilient. I think this has uh, structural and cyclical uh, reasons. Uh, I think on the structural side, you have the, the dual uh, apprenticeship system in Germany, which really helps to uh, get people in, young people into jobs, even without the university degree. And I think what we are seeing in southern Europe is that a lot of pe young people at the time when the economy was booming were actually uh, sacrificing their education for basically a job which uh, gave them quick money. But I mean, these jobs, for example, in the Spanish construction industry, they are gone. So that explains uh, why you have such a surge in youth unemployment. And also, it's partly due to the structured labor markets in, in southern Europe, which, despite uh, of all the reforms, make it very, very uh, difficult uh, for young people mm, to enter mm. the labor market, the, 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 the primary labor market, with where you have uh, solid jobs and they still have, you know, annual contracts and things like that. And we don't have that uh, to a similar extent in Germany. Um, is Germany going to enter a recession uh, at the end of the year? That's really a tough call. I mean, uh, we still see the economy more or less flatlining. Uh, but I mean, given the uncertainties with regard to the euro crisis, given the uncertainties with regard to the U.S. fiscal cliff, one cannot really rule out that we might have what I would call a technical recession, meaning, yes, two negative quarters in a row. It's not our baseline forecast, but there is a certain probability to that. And I mean, if you look, we are talking about, you know, differences of 0 0.1, 0 0.2 to our forecast. And that's always, you know, within the margin of error. Stefan, many thanks for talking with Reuters today. Stefan Schneider uh, from Deutsche Bank uh, out of Frankfurt. Do join us throughout the week for Reuters today. A snapshot of the latest world news and market headlines. That's at 8 a.m. London time each morning. I'm Axel Threlfall. This is Reuters.